Salute, salute, YouTube family. Salute to ya. What's good with y'all? Definitely going to be talking about the new four kings of the lightweight division. You know, we have to, uh, we got to update the, the, you know, the royalty, if, if we can call it that. At first, it was known as Ryan Gar. At first, it was known as Ryan Garcia, Tank Davis, Devin Haney, and um, Tiafima Lopez. You know, all but one of those guys had meaningful fights. You know, or is at least trying to get meaningful fights. I think you got. I think you know who I'm talking about. Ryan Garcia has not done a single thing. Never been a champion. Never moved up. Never, you know, never took a risky fight. He has done nothing as a boxer. Zero. All but run his mouth. Get on different podcasts. Get on different platforms and... and, and, and talk about he wants to fight Tank Davis when it never happens. You know, he's done nothing but clout chase and continue to talk and run his mouth but doesn't fight anyone. He ran from being Devin Haney's um, WBC mandatory. I mean, we've never heard of this these things. He, he goes out and fights, he becomes a mandatory and fights the number two mandatory. Instead of trying to get to the belt, he goes down and tries to fight. Who does this? Who ducks the, like, how, how do you fight to be the mandatory position and then duck the champion? Isn't that what you want? That's what you should want as a boxer. But we know what time it is. He's not trying to lose that O. You know, he doesn't want to uh, take no risks. You know? Um, and it's just unfortunate because he's one of the, you know, the biggest guys, um, as far as, you know, notoriety, you know, as far as people knowing who he is, you know, but not for boxing, it's for being an Instagram model, it's for doing pads all day, all day, every day, but not fighting anyone, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's just unfortunate, man, it's just unfortunate because all he does is just clout chase, talk, but doesn't fight anyone. He was supposed to fight uh, for Javier Fortuna a year ago. Pulls out for mental health. For mental health. He had his on Instagram, you know, with his girl and doing this and that. You know what I'm saying? He seems fine to me. Seems seems like you can at least you can fight. You know what I'm saying? Um, and now he's fighting Javier Fortuna. Um, next next month, right? July. So, you know, he's he's below everyone. He's he's playing catch up. So the new four kings of the division of the lightweight division, one forty one forty um and down is Tank Davis, Devin Haney, Tiafima Lopez, and Shakur Stevenson. Those are the new four kings. Um we still have to put Tiafima Lopez in it because he's still a hard fight. He's still a good fight. I won't say hard, but he's still a good fight for any of those guys. You know, all of them need to mix it up. All of them need to have a little tournament and see who comes up on the on the top. I have Devin Haney personally. Um, I think he'll beat all those guys. Um, but you, you know, who knows? You know, we got to see the fights. You know, we can't just keep on speculating. We got to actually see them. We got to witness them. You know, we got to see what's going to actually happen. So, you know, I want to see these fights. I want to see them mix it up. Um, I don't know when Shakur is going to move up. Um, I think he's going to go try, try to get undisputed um, at 130, and then he'll move up, of course. But by then, I think Devin Haney will definitely be at 140. But they'll, they'll all meet up at least at like 140 or 147. I, I think at, at you know they'll all meet up at some point. If it's not at 140, it'll be at 147, you know. Because um, I think Tank Davis is comfortable at 135, but he can fight at 140. You know, if he decides to go to 147, I mean, his power is going to carry with him. But, you know, that's that's a big jump. You know, that's a big jump. If he's going to stay, at, is he going to be at 147? He's going to have to stay at 147. You know what I'm saying? So who knows when that's going to be? He's 28 years old years old right now. Um, 
I don't see him going to 147 for a while, but I could easily see him going back up to 140. To, uh, you know, Devin Haney's going to be at 140 within two to three fights. He's not going to spend much time at 135 again. He's already explained that he doesn't like trying to make in the making the weight. So I could definitely see him going to 140, you know, within two to three fights. Um, you know, Shakur Stevenson, like I said already, I think they'll either meet or all meet at. You know, I could see Devin and Tifimo going to 147 eventually. You know, what I'm saying. Tank is a little bit, you know, a little bit um, smaller than these guys, so I don't know for sure, but he could definitely do it. I mean, he has the skill, he has the power, so he could definitely make it happen. Um, and then Shakur Stevenson, I could definitely see him going to one forty seven at some point, because he's, you know, he's just he's right along with the, with those guys in size. So, you know, we got to boot Ryan Garcia. We got to boot him from the from the equation at this point. Um, he hasn't done anything, you know. Um, you know, Shakur Stevenson is a unified champion. Tank Davis is, you know, the cash cow. Create, you know what I'm saying? He fights whoever he can fight. Um, he does need to get that meaningful, you know, huge legacy fight. He still needs to get that. Um, but he has taken fights that, you know, people, oh, the, you know, oh, Roly, he, he might get knocked out. What'd he do to him? He knocked him out. Oh, Mario Barrios, you know, he's way bigger than him. What'd he do to him? Knocked him out. Oh, Leo Santa Cruz. He's, you know, has the highest output. What did he do to him? He knocked him out. You know what I'm saying? So he's done everything that people, you know, um, said he couldn't do. You know what I'm saying? Now, he, I, I will admit, he does need to have some meaningful fights. He needs to mix it up with the with the top competition. I will say that. But he's done a lot more than Ryan Garcia. He's been a champion. He's fought champions. He's fought former champions. You know, Ryan, Ryan Garcia has not fought a f former champion yet. Luke Campbell was his best fight, and he got he got knocked down in the second round. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, like who, who is this dude? And this dude, and this dude continues to talk. You know what I'm saying? So you know he's we got to boot him from the from the from the Four Kings, man. He's not he's not a part of it in my eyes. I don't have him there. I don't even consider him a real boxer, to be completely honest with you. Not until he says, not until he does what he says he's gonna do. He takes a real actual step up fight. Everyone has taken a step-up fight. Even Tiafima Lopez took a step-up fight with Lomachenko. He probably has the best win out of all of the four kings. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't think he's the best out of them, but he has the best win. You know what I'm saying? Lomachenko regarded... They, they called... They erased Lomachenko's O. They called him... You know, they made, made him try to see him... Um, he's the next Floyd. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Lomachenko was regarded as, you know, a very, you know, high talent and... You know, very a uh, big challenge. I think he's a good fighter, but they hyped him up way too much, in my personal opinion. He's not known next forward. He lost in his second fight against Orlando Salido. People said that oh, it was at the beginning of his career. First of all, he started his career. He was he was a grown man, so we can't use that excuse. And every other top guy that fought Orlando Salido, they beat him. You know, um, Ga uh, Gamboa beat him. Um, I can't remember the other guy's name, but he beat him. So there should be no excuse for Loma, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, they regarded him as this, you know, huge guy. So Tiafimo Lopez, Tiafimo Lopez has the best win out of all four of them. Um, you know, Devin Haney's undisputed champion of lightweight division. So, you know, he's he's already done greatness. He's made history. But Ryan Garcia, he has not done anything. He's done nothing but talk. So he's not a part of the Four Kings anymore. We're replacing him with Shakur Stevenson, and I can't wait for these guys to mix it up. Um, it's going to be very. They just need to fight, man. And I think Ryan. I think Tio, Devin, Shakur, and Tank will fight each other. I think they will fight each other. I don't think it's going to be a matter of. Well, I don't know about Tio because Tio. Tio showed a lot of. Um, he didn't want to fight Devin Haney. So I don't know about Tio, but he's still in there. He's still a good fight for either one of them, um, and I'd like to see them like to see that fight, you know. But I don't know if he's gonna be willing to be taken. But those three dudes, Tank, Shakur, and Devin, will definitely fight each other. They're not scared, you know. what I'm saying they're chasing greatness, they're chasing legacy. So I can't wait to see what unravels. I can't wait to see what happens in the future. It's gonna be great. Um, like I said, there's a shift in boxing coming. We're getting some. We're gonna get some great fights. Um, it's going to be the golden age coming soon because there's so much young talent coming out. And it's like, you know, you don't know who to pick, and that's what makes the fights so good. 
you know, there it's to the point where you just don't know who's going to win. And that's the fights that we want to see. We don't want to see any fights that we could just clear, pick out the winner. You know, so it's going to be great. Anyways, like and subscribe for more content. Um, hit the bell icon for more uh, for notifications when I post some stuff. And um, let me know what you guys think in the in comments. You know what I'm saying? Do you think Ryan should still be in the Four Kings category? Or do you think he's just all talk? You know, let me know what you guys think. Peace.